Abe Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. Now, your local weather with meteorologist Brian Briggs. Well, good Saturday evening to you. Hopefully you were able to have a wonderful day today. Weather-wise, it was a fantastic day across the Arklamis. We saw lots of sunshine. Temperatures were a little bit on the warmer side, though, but pretty seasonal for uh, this time of year in May. Things are going to be changing, though, unfortunately, as we head into our Sunday, our Mother's Day. More details coming up a little bit later on. But taking a live look outside right now, it is beautiful, and it's still fairly mild for this time of night. Currently sitting at 76 degrees here in Monroe. Dew point's been a little bit low through the day, so the moisture wasn't very high, kept us a little bit more comfortable, but moisture will be on the increase as well as uh, those winds still out of the south this evening at about 11 miles per hour. It's going to be bringing that moisture back in. And that's why we're so warm across the area too. Temperatures generally in the lower to middle 70s across the wide variety of the area here. So warm and somewhat mild night, a little bit on the sticky side. Definitely had an air conditioning, uh, definitely use it. And uh, it's going to be warm as we head into our Mother's Day too. And uh, we're going to see those storms return, but at least in the meantime, Time. Live storm tracker Doppler radar is quiet. It really hasn't had to do much today considering that high pressure still has been in control. But our next weather system lingers off towards the north and west and is already producing quite a bit of severe weather across portions of Kansas. Eventually, we'll get into Oklahoma. And this system will eventually sag its way towards the south and east. And that'll be our weather maker as we head into our Mother's Day. So Let's time this out. What we can expect, we should see that low-level moisture returning through the night tonight, and the clouds will be on the increase, but much of the day, at least the first half of Mother's Day, will be quiet. So this will be perfect for brunches. If you're wanting to take your mom out for a picnic or do something like that, at least the first half of the day looking good. But those showers and thunderstorms look to roll in sometime around 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, especially across portions of southern Arkansas, and then drifting their way south and east through the day and into the evening here. This is about 6 o'clock. Right Right along the I-20 corridor and you can see a strong line of showers and thunderstorms moving through and yes it is that time of year folks these showers and thunderstorms will pack the punch and the potential for some severe weather as we go through the evening and especially in the overnight hours and then eventually it will clear out here it'll eventually sag southward but we don't quite get rid of the showers and thunderstorms as we head into our Monday boundary somewhat stalls out here and we will have some ingredients even though future trackers not picking up on a lot I would expect us to have a few thunderstorms continue continuing into our Monday, and that will continue the risk of severe weather even into the new week. So as far as the severe weather risk for Mother's Day is concerned, we do have a slight risk, which is a two out of five, and it covers much of the Arklamis. Damaging winds is the primary threat with this system, though we could have a few isolated tornadoes along the line as well. And then as we head into our Monday, again, a marginal risk, mainly for the Louisiana part of the Arklamis. Most of southern Arkansas is out of that. It's a low risk, but it is that time of year. It's something to pay attention to. So 70 forecast shows that even after after uh, the weekend here, unsettled pattern remains in place, and that'll keep that chance for showers and storms around. And we could also have the potential for some heavy rainfall during that time. But as we get into the second half of the weekend of the weekend, things dry out, and we may actually keep on in this dry streak for quite a while here. Some of the extended models want to keep us dry through the month of May. But in terms of our severe weather tomorrow, it's always a great time to download our KTVE KRD weather app. You can put your phone right up to the screen right there, and that QR code will take you right to our app. Not only will it give you the latest updates regarding the forecast, but it'll also give you great real-time watches and warnings and those notifications. Personally, I love using it for lightning. So uh, go ahead and download it if you haven't already. That's going to be it for weather. More coming up after the break. You're watching NBC 10 News at 10.